hundreds of same-sex couples married across New York on Sunday, after it became the sixth and most populous state in the country to recognize same-sex unions as legal. Phyllis Siegel and Connie Kapilov were the first couple to marry in New York City. Phyllis is 77 years old, Connie 85. They've been together for 23 years. It was just so amazing. It's it it's 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 the only way I can describe it. I I lost my breath and a few tears. And it's 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 indescribable. As of Sunday, New York joins Connecticut, Iowa, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, and the District of Columbia in allowing same-sex unions. But gay marriage is still specifically banned in 39 states. The weddings across New York also prompted calls from activists and officials to repeal a federal law that defines marriage as between a man and a woman. The Obama administration is now backing a new congressional measure that would repeal the Defense of Marriage Act, or DOMA, which denies federal recognition of gay marriage. DOMA was signed into law in 1996 by former President Bill Clinton and prohibits same-sex couples from receiving marriage-based federal benefits, such as Social Security survivor benefits, health benefits, and the right to file taxes jointly. The new Respect for Marriage Act was introduced following the White House's surprise announcement it would stop defending DOMA in court earlier this year. Democracy Now!'s Elizabeth Press was in Buffalo this weekend, where she covered the first same-sex marriage in the honeymoon capital of the country, Niagara Falls. Kitty Lambert, age 54, and Cheryl Rudd, 53, both grandmothers from Buffalo, were married just after midnight Saturday at Niagara Falls State Park's Luna Island. Elizabeth Press filed this report. We are gathered together here in the presence of this company to join this couple in the bonds of matrimony. On Sunday, hundreds of gay and lesbian couples were legally married for the first time in New York State. I'm Daniel Rogers, and we've been together for a long, long time, 17 years. Congratulations to all the couples that are going to be able to finally get married and share their love and celebrate it in public like we are. We didn't plan on it, but we actually ended up being the first marriage in City Hall here at Buffalo, and we're excited about yep, it. Yep, my heart just sped up. <laughs> Uh, my name is Jean Walker, and I came in from Ohio to be able to marry Michelle and have our rights observed. I'm Edward Wolf, and I'm Chris Lopez. Um, we just got our marriage licenses, so tomorrow we are going to be husband and husband. <laughs> We've already been through thick and thin, and we have so much more to go through a whole lifetime together. At 12.01 Sunday morning, Kitty Lambert and Cheryl Rudd were the very first same-sex couple to take their vows in New York State. I caught up with Kitty before the ceremony. I am in heaven. I am so in love with the most remarkable woman. She is a great mom. She is my best friend and my best playmate. And in just a few hours, I will exchange vows with her, and for the rest of eternity, we will love each other and care for each other and be dedicated to each other, and it'll all be legal. The festivities took place in Niagara Falls in three sections, starting with the party, followed by the religious ceremony, and then ending with the legal ceremony. This is Reverend Dr. Barbara Halsing at the religious ceremony. Tonight we gather for a groundbreaking and historic event. We are here to witness the union of Kitty Lambert and Cheryl Rudd, the first gay marriage in the state of New York. You may wonder why there are two ceremonies scheduled, a religious one and later a civil one. As Kitty said to me earlier today, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. The civil ceremony is necessary in order to obtain the rights that have always been extended to heterosexual couples and which LGBT couples justly deserve. We chose to do our religious ceremony and our civil ceremony completely separate because we devoutly believe in separation of church and state. Um, you don't have to have a, a religious ceremony to get married. But you do have to have that $40 piece of paper to have your marriage recognized. You don't have to have a $40 piece of paper to get married, but you have no protections if you don't. Um, I'm Chaplain Carol Spesser. Is this wonderful or what? Oh, my God. 
did you, you know, I'm 63. Did I ever think this would happen? No. This is so glorious. Kitty has worked tirelessly with her grassroots organization, Outspoken for Equality, to pass marriage equality in New York State. This wedding kind of symbolizes um, that the struggle can be won. People can be educated on this issue that we can blow away all the nonsense, all the myths, all the, the foolish stuff that's said about us. And, and we can educate people into understanding that we're your neighbors, we're your co-workers, we're your friends, we're your family members. And all we're asking for is the right to protect ourselves, the right to have the same protections under law that, that our neighbors do, that our co-workers do, that our friends and family do. This is about equal access to equal protection under the law. The couple's friends and colleagues helped celebrate this historic day, including former New York State Assembly member Sam Hoyt. Kitty Lambert was a champion, a, a, a rock-solid superstar when it came to uh, promoting marriage equality here in West New York, and to uh, to be a part of that is a is a great honor. It's Gregory Rabb, currently the president of the Jamestown, New York City Council, and the only openly gay elected official in the eight counties of Western New York. I'm also good friends of Kitty and Cheryl, and have been working with them very closely on marriage equality all through Western New York. So tonight is um, important personally because of Kitty and Cheryl, but even more importantly, it's important uh, because as a gay person and lesbian people and all the rest of us, how we identify here, I, you know, for the first time at, at midnight, we're going to be much closer to being full citizens in the state of New York. Nearing midnight, the party roved to its third and final location, where the traditional honeymoon capital Niagara Falls posed as the backdrop for their legal ceremony. My name is Paul Deister. I'm mayor of, the, uh, mayor of the city of Niagara Falls, and I'm going to per be performing the marriage ceremony tonight. I want to say how honored I am, not just that you chose me to officiate, but that you chose Niagara Falls as a backdrop for this historic event. <laughs> by the power vested in me, by the laws of the state of New York, I now pronounce you legally married. I feel great. I mean, there's no difference other than satisfaction and comfort and knowing that I have the same rights as everyone else. I was very happy because my Grammy and Grandma were the battle is continuous. You don't get your rights by sitting still. But um, tonight we're taking the night off, relaxing, enjoying ourselves, celebrating us, and then uh, maybe tomorrow we'll get back to work. And people did. My name is Mario Hernandez, and I'm the Buffalo organizer with the New York Civil Liberties Union. We're the New York affiliate of the American Civil Liberties Union. And um, I'm out here today actually circulating a petition for the Re Respect for Marriage Act, which would repeal DOMA federally. Now we're now we're moving on to the nation. We're we're not we're not going to walk away from this. We're not going away. We're not backing down. We're not going to shut up. We're not going to get quiet. This is it. It's time for our families to be included, to be recognized, and to be to be protected. And it's that simple. Now I move on to helping other individuals out there who want to learn how to organize a grassroots organization and empower their own community to make the changes that we made right here in ultra-conservative Western New York. It's that simple. For Democracy Now!, this is Elizabeth Press reporting from Niagara Falls.